been, uh, been having a bit of a look at a couple of things today, and I just wanted to show you on the touch screen here, just to get into it straight away. First thing I want to have a look at is a mum or hump playing against Nathan Lyon. Now let's get into this, and you just see a couple of deliveries here that turn and bounce right at the top. I mean, how's that delivery first up? That was his first over that he bowled. Now suddenly, and mum's thinking, how am I going to tackle this? So this is the best way he's going about it, and I thought he did a pretty good job. Coming down the track as much as he possibly could, he was obviously one wide from Lyon, which he got enough bat on it to get it away for some runs. And at that stage, Alex Carey thought he was in the game, and Nathan Lyon's expression tells a story as well. So I thought that's really good because it was turning and bouncing a lot. But let's have a look at the interception points from a mum going down uh, the wicket to Nathan Lyon. Uh, you can see that he used his feet to all those red deliveries. Let me just get involved here as well and just circle them or just line them. There we go. There's uh, down the, I mean, that's quite a distance. He's got down quite a bit. And I watched very closely, by the way, and what I did notice is as the ball was released, he was still actually in the crease. He didn't actually go too early, so it was actually quite good. So he had to get down there some distance, so I thought he played it really nicely, and this was just leading forward. And that's also a little bit difficult when the ball's just popping out of some of these rough areas around here as well, the guys on either side um, waiting to catch something. And then, of course, when it was a little bit short, he was able to get back and, uh, and hit them back on a square on the offside to, uh, to pick up some runs. So I think he's done a pretty good job. And you remember he also holed out in the last test match, uh, which obviously posed a couple of problems at, uh, at mid-on. So uh, good work for him so far. And he's 42 not out at the moment, so really good stuff from him. Right, Kawaja was the star of the show. Let's have a look at his uh, wagon wheel. And you'll see that uh, he played so beautifully throughout this innings. And it's, uh, there's a couple of things you're going to need to look at here. Obviously, this area that he always scores fairly heavily at is around about here throughout the offside. These, uh, these boundary balls here, and they're one or two also nice and fine as well, being on the offside. But then, I just like all these. These little ones. It was going to frustrate the bowlers a lot when he's just easy. When the, what he does so well, I think, is he doesn't, uh, he doesn't play too many away from the body. He waits for the bowlers to bowl at him, and he eases them on the onside. So I think that's really good, and picking up these singles in this area as well. So I think that wagon was a really good map, and there's virtually nothing down straight, which is also really good. So good stuff from him. The other thing I want to have a look at is uh, him advancing. This is a little bit unusual. You don't normally see this from Kawaja, but his form has been so good. Look at the way he just advanced sometimes to the, spinner, uh, to the seamers, just waltzing down and did it quite comfortably. And of course, this is because the ball's keeping a little bit low from time to time. Also wanted to upset the lengths a little bit of some of the seamers. So I thought it was really good work on the way he just manipulated and, and worked this whole uh, uh, innings today. And in fact, throughout the entire series, I think he's been nothing short of outstanding and averaging over 160 throughout the uh, whole performance, uh, the whole series. So it's been really good. So good stuff from Kawaja and really good stuff from Mamul Huck as well.